Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So in this video I will show you how to encrypt a folder in Linux. So are you ready? Let's get started. So in my last video I showed you how you can encrypt an entire partition or hard disk or drive in Linux. But in this video I will show you just how to encrypt a specific folder in your distribution. So first thing first you have to install the eCrypt file system. So with the eCrypt file system we'll be able to encrypt a folder. Okay. So here I'm using CentOS so in order to install it pretty easy. You can use your yum install packager yum install eCrypt eCrypt utils Okay, so you have to install this package in order to do that. Of course, if you are using a Debian based application, you can use app get install eCrypt utils. So with the same name. So me, I have already installed these packages. So let's create a folder that we want to encrypt. So make directory and let's call it, for example, data. Okay. So just make sure that the folder is empty because if it has some data, they will not be accessible. So first you have an empty folder, then you encrypt it, then you can put whatever data you want. So my folder here is created. So as you can see here, I have the folder data that has been created. Okay, so let me clear that. So now in order to encrypt it, We'll be using the mount command so I have to mount it okay with this file system called ecrypt fs okay and here we have to specify the this directory that we have created which calls data okay and the mount point will be the same directory data okay so I will hit enter here to see what I get so here it asking me to, ch to choose the key type. So I can use a passphrase, open SSL or the SPI. So I will be using here a passphrase. So I will just hit one. So here you have to provide a passphrase or a password, which is that will be using a key that will be using to encrypt your data. So make sure to not to forget this passphrase because if you forget it, you will lose all your encrypted data. So, and always choose a strong one that you will never forget. So I'll tap here one, here we go. And I'm hitting enter. Now we have to specify the cipher. So I can stick with the default one, which is IES with a block size of 16. So I'll just hit enter here. So for the key bytes, I will stick with the default word, which is 16, okay? But make sure to remember that all these values that we have entered here, you should remember it because when you want to see your decrypted data, you must provide the same password or passphrase, the same cipher and same key bytes. So let's continue here with 16. Enable plain text pass through. I will just say no, so I'll stick with the default here. And enable file name encryption. I will say yes because I don't want even I don't want uh, my file name to be visible, so they will be also encrypted. So I will hit yes here and enter. And the file name encryption key, I will stick with the default. Would you like? Would you like to proceed with the mount? So, of course, I want. In order to avoid this warning in the future, you can choose whatever you want, yes or not. So, I will hit yes. And now, my data directory has been encrypted. Okay. So, I will just here put something on it. So, let's create a file. So, for example, I will call this, this is secret data. 
and I will put here in my directory which is data and I will create a file for example I will call it uh, file dot secret so inside this file dot secret I just put this phrase here this is secret data okay so now let's see the content of my file of course let's see first the content of this folder encrypted so here you can see the file name okay because we are still on this encrypted directory so let's see the content of the file which is file.secret here we go I have my phrase here so let's say that we are done you you put all your data your secret data that you want to encrypt in this folder so you are finished so in order to uh, encrypt your data or just leave your folder you have to unmount it so make sure you are outside this uh, folder data here and we're gonna unmount it using the U mount I forget here in N here we go now we are out of this directory directory called data so let's see the content now I'll use the same command here list data here we go we cannot see anymore the file name because we said yes to encrypt also the file name okay so now your entire directory is encrypted and even the file name are encrypted you cannot get them so if you want to get them back or see the encrypted data we'll be using the same command that we entered before which is mount okay here we go so let's mount this directory now so here you have to provide the same credentials that you have entered before so I will stick with passphrase here you have to provide the same passphrase that's why I told you to not forget it okay the cipher is the default here is the default I said here no here I said yes and this is the default so let me clear that let's see now the content of my file here we go you can see now I can easily see the file name because I have decrypted my data folder let's see its content using the cat command or you can use any editor that you want here we go we can actually see our encrypted data so when you are finished all you have to do is to unmount it and then you will be sure that your folder is now encrypted okay here we go so now everything is encrypted everything is secure so this is the best way and easy way in order to encrypt a folder in Linux using the encrypt file system so as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing bye bye